Hi, my name is Erin Gray, and I'm sitting here with my head coach of the women's basketball team, Jeff Walls. Hey, Coach Walls. How, how, how are you today, Erin? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm wonderful. Thank you. Well, I'm going to compose an interview with you about motivation. First of all, what is your view on motivation? What do you think motivation means to you? Motivation to me is trying to figure out what we need to do in my profession as a coach to get the best out of my players. Uh, I, I think, you know, it's really important to understand that not every person is motivated the same way. So as a coach, we have to get to know our players, get to know their personalities, their backgrounds, their families, and figure out what is going to be the best way to motivate them. So motivation is a very important aspect of what we do in college sports. Okay. You came in, well, five freshmen came in. Do you know, like, how practice is coming up? Do you know how you're going to motivate each five of them already? Well, that, that's in the process. Right right now, I'm, I'm not exactly sure what technique is going to work the best for each player. That's part of our workouts that we're allowed to do right now. Uh, I enjoy this time of year because I, I allow my assistants to do a lot of the workouts so I can kind of stand back and watch so I can get a sense of what's going to work, how am I going to approach you uh, when things aren't going well for you at practice, what's the best way to get you back into a positive mindset. So, you know, I take a lot of time in working through that, working through getting to know you personally, and getting to know each player personally off the court allows me to be more successful once I begin to coach them and hopefully motivate them all the time. I think um, your motivation brings success or failure. Uh, I believe motivation, I, I think the way I, I motivate has brought a lot of success and I think that's true because of the fact we take our time in learning each individual. We don't just motivate one way. Uh, you know, especially when you're in the heat of a game, you, you don't have time to always sit down and just go through, hey, I need you to do this better. I need you to box out better. You might have to yell down the floor to a player. And as a casual fan, you might think that, oh no, it's he's yelling at that player. He's get, you know, he's really getting on him. Where I'm really just trying to get my message across so they can hear me. So as we go through, I think what we've done and how I've attempted to motivate and how our players have responded and how my staff also takes the time to learn how to motivate each player is a big part of our success. How do you create a motivational like culture for your players, staff, everybody that's around you? Well, I, I, I think it's important to show to show by example. Uh, you know, I'm a big believer if you're going to talk the talk, you have to be able to walk the walk. Mm -hmm. So if I'm going to expect my players to be in shape, to come in here and do well, I'm going to make sure I'm able to back that up. So I think it's important for myself to be able to go out there and show my players that I'm just as invested in what we're trying to accomplish here as I want them to be. And the same is said for my staff. So, you know, I, I think the people that have been around our program, the players that are in our program, really get a sense of pride that, you know, not just one person, but the entire program is very proud of what we do here, not just on the basketball floor, mm -hmm. but in the classroom, in the community. So I think it, in order to create that, you have to be able to show that, that you believe in it. Okay. Um, you have captains of the team. Who are the captains? Well, right now, we're still working on captains. Yep. Uh, you know, it, it's something that I think is earned. Mm -hmm. uh, I like to see where each player, who's able to step up and take on a leadership role. Uh, right now, Courtney Walton is one that I, I think has shown some, some progress. Uh, Maisha Hines-Allen, I think, is, is somebody who's trying to work in that, 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 that area. So we, we have three or four that are on the verge, I think, of possibly becoming captains. But it's something that you have to earn. It's just not given to you. Okay. And out of those two that you already named, do you like require them to motivate the players when you're not around? Or well, I, I think what we try to do, I, I, it's something where they're, they're not necessarily always trying to motivate, but in, as a captain, you're, you're trying to encourage 
trying to help your your teammates get through, say, a tough practice, a tough workout, uh, someone who's willing to organize. Uh, you know, but in today's society, it's just as hard to find a leader as it is to find good followers. Mm -hmm. So I think that's one of the important things as a leader, and I'm hoping that we start to see a few develop on our team, is you have to have someone who's able to create the atmosphere and the family environment that people are willing to follow them. You can't always just lead by fear. Uh, you're, you're not gonna have people that truly wanna follow you if you're always just trying to scare them into following. Do you think your players should be self-motivated? Uh, yes. In, in, in order for us to be a top 10 basketball program, a program that has aspirations of competing for a national cha championship, as I believe we do, you have to have players that are self-motivated. Mm -hmm. You have to have players that are willing to do things on their own. Uh, you know, one of the things I like to talk to my players about is, you know, it, it's great when you work hard when we're watching, but the true players, the ones that want to become special, are the ones that are working hard when no one, no one's watching. Mm -hmm. They're in the gym by by themselves. It's the same thing as a, for for a student. If if you want to be a great student, you want to do well, you have to take time to study on your own. You might have study groups in your class. Mm -hmm. You might meet with a tutor, but if you want to truly be elite and be one of the the best students. You've got to be able to do it on your own. And that's the same thing with any type of sport, especially with basketball. Mm -hmm. The great players are the ones that motivate themselves. They're able to get into the gym, challenge themselves, push themselves each day without having to have someone watch them or oversee what they're doing. So we look for players when we go recruiting that have that desire to be great. And, you know, it, it's okay as a coach to have to try to motivate and push a player along sometimes because you know sometimes things, things get tough you might get discouraged and that's where we come in but I'm looking for people that want to be special that want to work hard and do things by themselves okay. what would you do with a player that doesn't want to be motivated how would you handle that well you know I, I think in a, a situation like that if a player doesn't want to be motivated by a coaching member, then they have to be self-motivated. They have to be somebody that you don't ever worry about. You know they're going to go out there and give it and give it their all every day they come out to practice, every game. Uh, but if that's not the case, and then I'm dealing with somebody that doesn't want help in order to be motivated, then unfortunately it's probably not a very good situation. They're probably not going to last because when you're around, say between 13 and 15 players on, on your team and you're the only one that doesn't want to be motivated, you're the only one that's not working extra, not in the gym on their own or not going with a teammate, all of a sudden you become ostracized. You're the one that everybody's looking at going, what's wrong with her? Why doesn't she want to put the work in? Why doesn't she want to help us be good? And when that starts to happen, players will normally decide to, to transfer and look for a program uh, where there, there's not as many expectations. You know, we're trying to win a national cha championship here. And if your goal is to just come out here and play and hopefully win some games, well, those goals aren't going to align with the rest of your teammates. Mm -hmm. So normally those players will end up deciding to find a place where basketball is just more, more of a, you know, a fun thing, a leisure activity, and not the opportunities that we have here. So where did you learn your motivational technique? Well, I, I was fortunate to work for a gentleman by the name of Paul Sanderford for uh, six years. Two years at Western Kentucky, uh, four years at Nebraska. Coach Sanderford, uh, coached three teams to uh, Final Fours during his time at Western and Kentucky. And, you know, I really consider him to be my mentor, mm -hmm. someone that I look up to, somebody that I still call and talk to today for advice. And he's someone that I really watched and admired, how he was able to get the best out of his players, how he, he was able to motivate them. And what he taught me was 
if, if your players know you care about them off the floor uh, and genuinely care about them, know that they're you're there for them, uh, someone that they can come and talk to if, if things aren't going well or if there's something great happens, they'll pick the phone up and call you or come to your office. You know, if, if they feel that way about you, you can push them to be great on the basketball floor. You can challenge them. You can really, you know, try to motivate them to be special on the floor. And it's not always going to be rah rah uh, positive. Sometimes you're going to have to, you know, I'm going to have to get on them and, and really challenge them and tell them, hey, today you're not giving us what you have. We need more. And you know, if they know you care about them off the basketball floor, then it makes it possible to push them to do more than they ever thought they could do when you're on the court. So, you know, he's the person, Coach Paul Sandiford, that really taught me how to motivate, how to care, and, and the importance of not just winning basketball games, but it's what you help these young women become when they're finished with, with, with their playing days. That's...